this is with the, are we on? Yep. So it's all about the angles and gradual movement is what I think of, or what I do. So I cut behind the fin, up along the gill plate, turn it over, do the same thing, chunk it. I cut, I then cut up the side of the belly to the fin and cut up into the fin, turn it over, do the same thing on this side. It's always trickier on this side. I cut this fin off, just cutting up in there, doing a little rocking motion. Okay, this fin comes out. Usually I save this belly meat, but not tonight. The eggs, oh, a lot of good stuff we're gonna throw away, but okay, then I, I look at the, I look at the the middle bone here and I just get a slight cut. You notice how I put it at an angle like this. It's really easy to start the cut rather than trying to cut on top because the skin's really tough. So I just get a, a gentle cut going and then I I'll just cut along the backbone and I'm putting pressure down on this side against the bone as my guide. Slight pressure. It's like, it's like what's helping me feel my way through there. I cut along to the ribs a little ways and then usually you can just kind of peel it away by just and I put that pressure onto the ribs there and just kind of have that rocking movement. The second side is always trickier because it's not the same feel but I do the same thing get that cut going and now I'm now I'm pointing down and pointing it at an angle towards the bone and again that's my guide my guide I cut the pin bones and I'm pressing against it to right against the backbone. I cut through that rib right here until there's a little flap like this. And then that way you can just kind of keep cutting along the rib and peel it back. And cut the backbone off, chunk that. And now I got the tail on to hold it in the water to rinse it off. Kind of a convenient way to do that. Give the eggs to your son. <laughs> and that's how we do it. Okay.